Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In the last video, we looked at including jQuery into our page. However, we don't actually know whether we have this functionality available. Now, if we save this page and go over to our um, browser, you'll see that we don't get any errors. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that jQuery has 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 or has not been included into our page. It's different to other languages because it's just a script file. So we're not sure yet um, if uh, jQuery is actually working. This script tag will not return an error if this source is not found. So it's extremely important that we just create a quick test to sh see if uh, jQuery is working or not. So don't worry if you don't understand the code I'm using just yet, but if you are follow along, following along with this tutorial and you've included jQuery using this line, um, this uh, line that I'm just about to write will just add some clarification whether to whether as to if we uh, actually have included jQuery properly. So I'm going to go ahead and create some paragraph tags and inside I'm going to write some text. So this is some text or this is a paragraph would be more appropriate. Now the P will take other attributes uh, such as on click, um, on mouse over, and we can use standard JavaScript to then call uh, the jQuery library or functions from the jQuery library. So let's go ahead and say P uh, on click. Now in normal JavaScript we could do something like alert or in raw JavaScript we could do something like alert works and when we click uh, this text inside of this paragraph we will pr be produced with an alert box to say works so let's go ahead and test this first of all here's my paragraph and if I click it you can see that I get an alert box up saying works so JavaScript itself is obviously working because this is automatically uh, available to us however we need to go ahead and test jQuery so let's go ahead and write a dollar inside of this dollar I'm going to write this or inside of these parentheses next to this dollar I'm going to write this and then I'm going to say dot hide and then brackets and then a, uh, a semicolon to end this line so essentially what we're doing is hiding using the hide function and this which refers to the current element which is our paragraph element so this is jQuery code and this hide functionality is a function of jQuery so now if this works, when we click on the paragraph, this paragraph should be hidden, we'll know that jQuery is actually working. So let's go ahead to our browser and refresh the page. Here's the paragraph. When I click it, you'll see that the paragraph disappears. So we now know that jQuery has been successfully included into our page.